Once again, it's operations time on the Willow Creek Railroad. In this video, we're going to highlight the running of passenger trains on the layout, which add a really nice variety to our operating sessions. Passenger trains on the Willow Creek typically come in two flavors, through passenger trains that run between Waverly and Spokane, and local passenger trains which originate in Waverly, service locations throughout the subdivision, and return to Waverly. The Willow Creek has a variety of locations where the citizens of the subdivision can access passenger trains. Major passenger stations are located at Waverly and at Bucky's Crossing. If you recall the history of the Willow Creek, you'll remember the Bodden Spa Inn and Pub Resort is located at Summit Springs, complete with hot springs and mineral baths. Hiking is also very popular in this area, with trail access to Rocky Ridge and Mount Summit. Visitors can access the resort via the small passenger station at Summit Springs. The passenger shelter at Highland, which is serviced by local passenger trains, gives hikers access to trails throughout the Tico Ridge, including Highland Falls and Lake Sycamore. Also serviced by local passenger trains is the quaint little station at Upper Meadows. Let's look now at the various trains that provide passenger service on the Willow Creek subdivision. We'll look first at operations of through passenger trains, of which there are two. The Lilac City Limited, shown here at the Waverly Station, is easy to recognize by its relatively more modern Union Pacific color scheme. Today, the Lilac City Limited will run from Waverly to Spokane, with a stop in Bucky's Crossing. The other through passenger train is the River City Limited, seen here in the Spokane Staging Yard. This train carries the traditional Pullman green color scheme. Today the train will run between Spokane and Waverly, with a stop in Bucky's Crossing and one in Summit Springs. The consist of the River City Limited includes a combination baggage passenger car that services Summit Springs, as we'll see later in the video. For fun, in today's video, we'll have the trains meet in Bucky's Crossing. This requirement to meet in Bucky's Crossing is one variation that we sometimes include in our sequence schedule. Of course, another variation is to run both trains independently of each other. The passenger station at Bucky's Crossing is always a busy terminal, with passengers arriving to visit the Riverport town, perhaps to transfer to the steam-powered ferry that services the river ports of Alta and Concord, or maybe to transfer to the train servicing the resort at Summit Springs. The train from Waverly is scheduled to depart before the train from Spokane, since it will take longer to reach Bucky's Crossing. According to the schedule and when cleared by the dispatcher, the Lilac City Limited departs Waverly. The scenic route takes the Lilac City Limited over the mountains past Summit Springs with great vistas of Mount Rainier to the north, and then down through Upper Meadows headed for Bucky's Crossing. Per the schedule, and when cleared by the dispatcher, the sister train, the River City Limited, departs Spokane, also headed for Bucky's Crossing. The schedule indicates that the two passenger trains are to meet in Bucky's Crossing to facilitate the various transfers. The River City Limited arrives first and waits at the station for the Lilac City Limited to arrive. Finally, the Lilac City Limited arrives and pulls in to the opposite side of the station. The trains remain in the station long enough to allow passengers to board or disembark as they desire. When cleared for departure by the dispatcher, the River City Limited leaves first, headed for Waverly, with a brief stop at Summit Springs.
Not long thereafter, the Lilac City Limited is cleared for departure and heads for Spokane. The River City Limited winds its way along Willow Creek and up the mountains to Summit Springs. Remember that the consist includes a combination baggage passenger car that services Summit Springs. The train pulls onto the Lookout Pass siding and uncouples at the combine car. The car is then set out at the station at Summit Springs, where passengers can disembark for the resort. Passengers leaving the resort will board later this afternoon. Once the combine car has been set out, the train is reassembled and continues its journey to Waverly. The River City Limited completes its run by pulling into the large passenger station at Waverly. During a subsequent operating session, the direction of these two trains will be reversed, with the River City Limited departing from Waverly, headed to Spokane. This time, the River City Limited will stop at Lookout Pass and pick up the Combine car at Summit Springs. These passengers are now headed for Bucky's Crossing, where they can change trains if desired or continue on to Spokane. Similarly, the Lilac City Limited will depart from Spokane, make its stop in Bucky's Crossing, and then continue to Waverly. Operating sessions may also include the running of a local passenger train, known as the Willow Creek. Today, the railroad's diesel rail motor car, also known as the Doodlebug, is providing local passenger train service. The Doodlebug departs Waverly and makes brief stops at all passenger stations and shelters. The first stop is in Summit Springs.
The next stop is Upper Meadows. And then Bucky's Crossing. The Doodlebug will leave Bucky's Crossing and return to Waverly. This time, the train stops at the Highland Passenger Shelter to pick up or drop off local folks or visitors to the backcountry. The Doodlebug continues with a brief stop again at Summit Springs and Upper Meadows and then finally arrives in Waverly. Passenger trains provide a lot of variety to operations on the Willow Creek. Instead of running the Doodlebug, for example, the local passenger train might consist of a single coach that the yard master at Waverly is required to build. Passenger cars can be switched in the yard to build various trains, very much similar to the building of freight trains. When the local passenger train has been built, the road engine backs down to the waiting coach and the train is ready to depart. The local passenger train will service all the same stops as we saw with the Doodlebug. Of course, keeping passenger trains on schedule always gives the dispatcher and the train crews a bit of a challenge. On the Willow Creek, passenger trains are Class 1 trains and hold rights over all other trains. Things can get really interesting if you add the occasional passenger excursion steam train to the operating sequence. Or perhaps an inspection tour by the railroad superintendent. Such trains are typically run as priority trains on the subdivision. So passenger train operations provide the operating crew with a nice change over just running freight trains. And there are lots of variations to keep the operating session exciting. So now you've seen some of the ways that we handle passenger trains on the Willow Creek. I hope that you've enjoyed this operations video. And as always, thank you for visiting the Willow Creek Railroad.